It's uh, January the 8th, 2021, and today's scripture starts at Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained us strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast cast, crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands, Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Psalm chapter 8. Proverbs 8. Does not wisdom cry, and understand? Put understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths. She cries at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and the wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom I am understanding. I have strength. Be me kings, reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes, rules, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honors are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the ways of righteousness, and in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning, wherever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While at yet ye have not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was with by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O you children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instructions, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Proverbs chapter 8. Now we'll go over to uh, Revelations, chapter 8. And where is that in here? Shouldn't be too hard to find. There we go. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them 
were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came from the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hands. And the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees was burnt up, and all the green grass was burnt up. And the second angel sounded, and as it was, it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the found fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld, and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, 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 to the inhabitants of the earth, by reason of the other voices of the trumpets of the three angels, which are yet to sound. Now, on the... I'll uh, oh, we'll just flip over to the section here on... Uh, from the financial commentary. Um, in here it talks about when the world is shaken, God will supply your need according to his unlimited resources. So, basically he said, the Lord promised you, the Lord knows the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time and the days of famine they shall be satisfied. God promised that in the days of famine you will, will be satisfied. The word satisfied in this verse is translated from the Hebrew which word saba, which means to fill, to satisfaction, to be full, to have plenty. As you walk in covenant relationship with God, he will manifest his power on your behalf. And when the world is thrown into turmoil and people everywhere are in despair with no place to turn, God will supernaturally intervene on your behalf and supply your need. He will satisfy you, not according to the world's resources, but according to his unlimited resources. God's word is clear. In famine, he will redeem you from death. And in war, from the power of the sword, you shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall you be afraid of destruction when it comes. At destruction in famine, you shall laugh. Job 5 to 22. In the midst of this worldwide financial crisis, instead of being fearful, you will have God's peace covering your mind because you will know he will give you to deliver you. Thanks for tuning in for today's devotion. Have a good day. God bless you.